Hello everyone, I'm Renegino, you know, welcome back to No, this is not Minecraft, this is actually Teardown. It's actually a modern map created in the game to look, well, rather similar to Minecraft. Like, look how realistic the wood in this house look or the house itself looks. And the character is similar skill to actually Minecraft as well. Slightly smaller, but look, when the house opens very realistically, this is a crafting table with, well, all the graphics. Almost identical to the actual game. That's a pig, they don't move, but they look identical though. These are villagers, they can't actually move. Like, what this guy? If it wasn't for that glitched foot, this would be exactly like Minecraft. Except this guy has lost an arm, which is absolutely horrific. Anyway, let's look at some of the houses because soon we'll blow it up with a cinematic bomb. So this house has a bed exactly like the Minecraft bed. All the details, all the dark spots and the dark spots, all the minor details, an oak plank. They have missed something, for example, the detail on the top, the detail on this path as well. But well, I mean, look at a torch. This is exactly like the Minecraft torch. This one lights up the place in a very similar way. That's a wheat farm which looks to be honest, 10 times better than a Minecraft wheat farm. Is it flammable? Okay, it's not flammable, but we'll test something out that may be flammable. Uh, the grass flammable. They're not, but they do break. What about a tree? You would expect a tree to be flammable, right? And yes, it is. This is flammable, so we're going to have a lot of fun. Well, burning things down. And that adds Absolutely horrific. He's lost his body and his skeleton is showing. What even? What the what what happened here? What happened to this guy? What what did you blow up? Is that a creeper? Like Tell me this isn't the scariest thing you ever saw. I ever. I mean it's a realistic explosion, just a little bit too realistic in my opinion. And that's a tree which we lit on fire. Burning, well, obviously, realistically. Anyway, before we blow up the cinematic bomb, let's burn, let's burn down an actual house. Let's see how satisfying that looks. Or at least most of it. But that tree is very satisfying to burn down, I'll tell you that. I don't think the leaves are flammable, are they? Mm, I don't think so, but still. Like, look at the house burning down on that extremely realistic that's a balcony that's down here like a regular minecraft user and as you can see we're slightly short on the average minecraft character but well if when this is a remake and put a different game i'm gonna excuse that yeah sure should that, that's a ladder that's a minecraft ladder in all its detail detailed glory that's a minecraft log and we can destroy it, like, actually destroy a log. And that's just extremely satisfying for some reason. Anyway, that's the house we're going down on. Yep, it's going up in flames. So anyway, let's place down a cinematic bomb. Where's the best place to place, you might ask? Well, let's look for the village well which normally marks the center of any minecraft village where is it at? oh okay so in a new update they don't always have village wells so this will be the center let's place it um can we place it in the tree i'm gonna just mine the tree a bit that is very satisfying actually it went exactly so let's place the cinematic bomb down. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Let's get down here and place it. Place and please don't explode. Please don't explode. Okay. We placed it directly in the tree. Let's get some distance away now and well blow it up. And I have no idea how that guy is destroying everything in the village. Yeah, okay. 
I believe that's a good position, so you should see the explosion in real time and slow motion. And that was the explosion, as you can see, wiped out literally everything in its path, wiped out the ground, wiped out the houses. The only thing it didn't wipe out was, well, the bedrock underneath, which is, I guess, real history life, and in the game, legitimately as well. Anyway, the game is extremely laggy now, borderline unplayable, and I'm guessing that house on fire doesn't, doesn't help a thing. But let's see from the little we can actually see let's check some dam let's some damage control so this house i can't really make out what it actually has in it but it is totally obliterated we destroyed a good chunk of the blacksmith area as well can't really go now without the game hugging out seriously which is unfortunate but yeah there's just a huge circle in the middle now so the game is unplayable so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please consider leaving a like subscribing and until next time i will see you later bye for now